guys and welcome to my youtube channel latest to R&D this is Sonu Punia today we will be discussing about the first assignment for a component engineering so what is the significance of this course this, co this course is useful for diploma graduate and postgraduate professors who are just passing out of the college and engineers who want to explore the component engineering field this course also work as a refresher for the component engineers I have uh, made uh, a component engineering overview uh, on this channel you will get this video to access the same you need to uh, go with this uh, hashtag letters to R&D and put the video description component engineering overview in the search field of YouTube and you can access this video and watch this so today uh, you can see the basic electronic components uh, uh, there are resistors capacitors diodes switch light emitting diodes then bridge rectifiers transistor very widely used component fuse and, and microphones antennas and uh, a lot more and today we will be discussing about the resistors uh, we will see the example for uh, uh, part creation for a resistor so typically the first assignment for a component engineer is given or uh, to create a part in the company's database uh, uh, the design engineer who is working on a product development or uh, uh, who is uh, just trying to enhance the existing product will either create a part number in the company's uh, uh, database uh, uh, it's uh, his choice so sometimes he only provide the manufacturer part number sometimes only the manufacturer part description so it, the responsibility lies on the component engineer they have to verify all the details issued from uh, the design engineer or the part creator to verify and put the details and approve in the company's database today we are going to take uh, the dis uh, example for uh, panasonic electronic components uh, uh, part number erj-pb6 b1001 v this is a resistor so a uh, basic questions you may have resistor looks like this one uh, yes yeah, so resistor also looks like this one this is uh, just one form of the resistor uh, which is uh, the package of a resistor this type of resistor is known as axial resistor if the component lead are uh, passing through the component and uh, uh, this one is known as the chip resistor there is uh, one more uh, uh, form of the resistor which uh, uh, looks like something uh, like this one and you will see two leads there so this is uh, a cold radial resistor uh, uh, to uh, to share some information with you the radial resistor which is the easy way to remember the radi radial resistor this looks like in the shape of R if you see these two leads and uh, this is the component it looks like so this is the part number which we have been uh, discussing the Panasonic uh, ERJ series part number uh, we are going to identify and verify the part details in this video and uh, uh, a component engineer has to upload the details which are verified in system as per the company standard to give you just an example for the company standard the description is framed in this format RES stands for resistor SMD surface mount device 1K is the resistance value ohm is then its unit 0.1% uh, is its tolerance and uh, 1 by 4 volt, volt this this will be uh, the resistors power rating and then 0805 will be the chip size of the resistor so some companies put the details in this format some companies put the details in below format the difference is it's only mentioned as 1k no ohm is there again then uh, the power rating is uh, changed into decimal value and for this one uh, CS is added that stands for chip size so this uh, literally depend uh, from the company to company this does not make any uh, difference to the part or this this is just a standard so guys uh, we are on the DGK website now and uh, I will put our part number in the search field on the DGK website I'm getting these three manufacturer part number results from the DGK for the part uh, which we have searched 
actually we search this one but uh, if we put the dash we can see like these three part numbers uh, is what TJK is throwing us so what is the difference in these three although the manufacturer part number is mentioned as same but uh, their packaging is different you can see one is tape and rail cut tape and DGK rail that is the customized uh, packaging from the DGK and if you see the minimum quantity for uh, tape and rail packaging it's 5000 for cut tape it's one and for the customized packaging from the DGK it's only one then but you should note that uh, this packaging difference does not make any difference on the manufacturer part number and uh, their electrical parameters if you see the description is same for all these three manufacturer part numbers so let us open this part number so this is our part number and uh, as uh, we have uh, seen in uh, uh, previous slides uh, we can uh, refer all the detailed description and all the parameters all the electrical and uh, mechanical parameters from this uh, 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 DGK website and uh, uh, if we, op we want to open and uh, see the data sheet so you can see there you need to click on there and uh, uh, this is the data sheet uh, uh, which we are getting from the DGK so one thing to note is uh, distributor website should only be used to, uh, for reference purpose and uh, you should verify all these parameters from the manufacturer website so uh, let's go to the Panasonic manufacturer website now uh, you can search with the part number this one and uh, you will get this high precision ship resistor same part number on the Panasonic manufacturer website as well now you see these uh, these are the specifications these are the power rating chip size then resistance value resistance tolerance, tolerance and all other details are given there so you need to just uh, copy paste these fields from this manufacturer website and uh, enter in the company's database if you want to access the data sheet from manufacturer website you can always do there if you click there it will take us to the data sheet and uh, if you see this is this data sheet is same as the DGK data sheet but it is always recommended that uh, you take the data sheet from manufacturer website for all the purpose Uh, so guys after uh, having seen uh, all the details uh, like uh, how to access the uh, detailed parameters from uh, uh, distributor website and manufacturer website uh, let's come to the interview questions uh, uh, that uh, can be asked uh, from this video so the first question uh, uh, and basic one is uh, uh, which tools you have used uh, to create the parts in company's database like a wind chill you know we are or some customized or, or tool from the customer itself and uh, what is the size of the team you support and uh, the team members and th th these are the basic uh, questions uh, which are generally asked so that is the end of the video if you have any additional questions uh, please comment those uh, uh, and I will be happy to answer them